Hey everyone, it's Andri Katz here and today we're gonna check out how you can craft all four snail mounts with the protoform synthesis system added with patch 9.2. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe for more content and hit the bell so you get notified when I upload. Alright, let's get to it. There are a couple of requirements to do before you are able to start crafting your mounts, so if you have already done this step you can skip ahead to the next chapter. Ok, so first and foremost you need to unlock the cipher system by doing the first three chapters of the campaign in Zereth Mortis. Then you want to prioritize the top row so you can open up a sub the Soprani understanding. Once the research is completed, the final song questline will appear, which starts from the quest Finding Tali in Pilgrim's Grace. Once you have completed these quests, ending with a new architect, the mount crafting system will become available to you. All of the crafted mounts follow the same principle. First you find their schematic, you take it to the Synthesis Forge, and it shows you what items you have to gather in order to craft them. Specifically, you're gonna need one lattice depending on the type of the mount, one rare reagent and a few hundred Genesis modes. You can loot these uh, modes from pretty much every mob in Zerath Mortis. The lattice you're gonna need for the snail mount is the Helicid lattice, so that's a total of four if you are planning to craft all of them. This particular lattice drops from all of the snail mobs in Zerath Mortis. The easier way to do it is by jumping between these two spots and clearing out all of the snails. There's just one elite mob and a few normal ones, so it's quite easy to kill them. There is also a rare mob or Rixal that can be spawned instead of the overgrown Helicid Elite, which has a higher chance to drop the lattice. Now the thing here is it takes 5 to 6 minutes for them to respawn again, so it's a bit of a slow grind. If you are in a hurry, you can join the Andros raid group to change realm, do a round and then go back to your realm. You can always sell this if you are into making some easy gold, they go around 8k each in my realm, though you have to check for your own server how much they go, but they're probably on the most expensive side of the lattices as they are quite rare to stumble upon them, people don't really have a reason to kill the snail mobs unless of course they are farming them on purpose. If you're not into that, you can always use the lattice to craft the mounts. Alright, let's start with each individual snail mount and check out what you need to do to get it. First mount is the bronze helicid and you can find its schematic inside the tribute of the enlightened elders, a reward from the weekly quest patterns within patterns. Next, you want to find the rare component, Analoid Bronze Ingot. The requirement for this is to complete the campaign quest A Means to an End, because this item can be found in one of the secret rooms in the Locus Arrangements. So to unlock that room, you need to find the repertory alcove arrangement at this location. It might be a bit confusing to find it with just the coordinates, so I'm gonna explain how you can get there. Come outside of the Gravit Repose facility, and you want to turn left. Then go down here and on your left there's this cave. The arrangement is on the left wall, interact with it and this should unlock the repertory alcove room. Then gather at least 60 cosmic energy by killing mobs and gathering the small orbs in the area and then enter the engraved repos. Use the locus shift and take the interior locus. You will now see a new locus shift appearing at the northwestern side of the room which you can use to travel to the repertory alcove. In the center of the room, it's a requisites originator that gives you a bunch of options to choose from. You want to select the fourth choice, restore Genesis potencies, for a chance at analoid bronze ingot. You might want to use your alts for this, as you can make only one choice per week, and then it gets on cooldown. Second mount is the Scarlet Helicid mount and to get the schematic for it you need to go to the North Island, the Antecedent Isle. The schematic is on top of the large arc on its left side. If you cannot see it then you can try realm hopping by joining the Andros raid group or wait for it to respawn. Next you want to gather the rare reagent for this mount which is the Revelation key and drops from the rare protector of the first ones. The entrance to this rare has a protective barrier and to remove it you need two players. There are two consoles outside the entrance with a symbol floating above them. All you need to do is find the matching ciphers with the same marks 
from the nearby mysterious sigils and bring the correct marks to the consoles. When you successfully match the symbols with the consoles, the indoor will open instantly and you can kill the rare. Moving on to the third mount, the unsuccessful prototype fleet pot. To get its schematic you need to find another secret room in the logs arrangements, the Cumber alcove. So to unlock it you need to find their respective arrangement at this location, outside of the vessel's room in the outer back side. You can access it either by flying or via the Ultimus locus. Next, gain at least 60 cosmic energy and enter gravity repos. Use the locus shift and take the interior locus. And interact with the northwestern locus shift, which you can use to travel to the Camber alcove. Inside this room, you can find an inner prototype, and when you interact with it, you gain control of a tiny snail. And a mini game will start. You can use your regular kimbines to move around, and the goal is to pass through the gold rings that will appear while still avoiding all the sodiate dust piles on the ground. When you successfully pass all of the glowing rings, you then get dismounted and the schematic will become visible to you. The rare component you have to gather for this mount is the tools of incomprehensible experimentation, which drops from Lihuvium in the sepulcher of the first one's raid, from all difficulties, so from LFR, normal, heroic and mythic. The drop chance is extremely low, it's around 6%, so you're probably gonna need to kill it a few times before you actually see it drop. Just for reference, I killed this boss around 11 times and it didn't drop yet, so I guess it's one of those things we will have to keep doing every week, maybe incorporate uh, LFR to the mix as well and hope for the best. And finally, my personal favorite of all of the snail mounts is Serenade. You can loot its schematic inside the sepulchre raid. It's easier to obtain this if you have cleared the first boss, but it's not necessary. You can do it solo as well. So how you do it? You want to find a person and make a raid group or join the Andros uh, raid group in L4. And you can still enter the raid. You need to mount up and run all the way to the lower level where the frogs are and come to this location. Even if you aggro mobs, keep running, they take some time to reach you, let alone kill you. You can find this item inside the chain attached to a floating platform. So loot it and then leave the group to teleport outside. I have tried this with my druid, but it should work with other classes as well. For this mount, you're gonna need one crystallite echo of the first song. There are a total of 5 locations, I found them spawning, scattered around in the East Island where the sepulchre raid is. They are quite tiny, so it might be a bit difficult to spot them. So I will do my best and show you closely all of the 5 locations, though only one will suffice to craft the serenade mount. In general, they spawn near waterfalls and emit musical notes. First one is above this waterfall. Second one is below the raid entrance platform, inside a, again a waterfall. Third one can be found close to the ground level, behind the waterfall. The fourth one is right underneath the raid entrance platform. You might want to tilt your camera a bit to see it. And the final echo can be found inside this cave, where the waterfall ends. Now, bear in mind that all of the rare protoform synthesis components have a tiny chance to be found inside the Olia Cache sold by Olia Manu outside of Firin's cave at the price of 700 ciphers of the first ones. If you don't see this NPC, you need to learn the cipher console spell Altonian Understanding and complete the Jiro questline that will appear. And this is how you can craft all of your snail mounts. I found them quite fun to ride around, especially the Golden Serenade, but the others are also looking nice too. They also have a unique mount special, I really like it. It's sad that we cannot use them in outside content as well, because obviously these are not flying mounts, at least yet. You have to put some effort and be a bit lucky to craft all of them, but I will say go for it, they, they deserve it. Thanks for watching and drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I will see you in the next one. Bye!